Hi, and welcome to your second GIMP lesson. In this lesson, we're just going to talk about filters. So, again, I've got an image copied, so I'm just going to press Control Shift V. Control Shift V, and that will make a new image in GIMP. So, this is the image I've chosen. Now, in Photoshop, I can't remember what they're called, I think they're also called filters. And basically, they apply effects to the image. So, to get them, just click on Filters at the top here. And there's loads, and you can download more online. But I'm just going to go through some of the basic ones. Basically, it's really simple. All you need to do is select one of these categories, select one of the things inside, click on it, and then adjust the settings how you want. So, for example, if I wanted to pixelize this, I can then adjust the pixel width and height. If I wanted to unlink them, I can do that. But I like them being linked. So, let's say I want to pixelize this image with quite small pixels. There we go. I just use the pixelize filter, and it's done it for me. Blurs are always quite good ones. Like the motion blur is quite good. Like that. Also with text, common test, the uh, te common text effects. So if I just use a little font here and just write hello or something. Like that. If I then want this to have a drop shadow, I can just go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow, and then this should come up. What we've got to do then is adjust these offset settings you want, and the blur radius settings, and the color settings, the opacity settings. Hit OK, and ta da, it's made a drop shadow on a new layer for you. So if we just look here, this is our drop shadow layer, we can turn that on and off. Which, by the way, is if you want to. Um, make things appear and disappear, you just click on the eye icon like that so drop shadow is another extremely useful one if we just have another look here there's just, there's so many I can't obviously go through them all in this one thing basically just look through them, if you want a certain effect, look for that effect if you can't get it, then try and um, look it up online, see if you can download an effect like that It seems like a quite a complicated filter here. There we go. So there are tons of different filters, all of which do very interesting things, which can be used for obviously a variety of purposes. This lesson is pretty short because basically all you need to do is look into filters, and it basically does it all for you. So that's the end of this lesson. Have a play about with filters, and have a nice day.